I really, really like him, but don't you think it's too soon to be meeting someone's mother? I mean, I've only been seeing him for a month. Well, honestly, I don't know, because most guys will wait years before they let you meet their family. But I think it's kind of cute, though. Him wanting to get to meet his family so soon must mean that he really sees a future with you, which is a good thing. Wow. <laughs> I never thought of it in that way. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to text him and tell him that I can't wait to meet his mom at dinner tonight. Definitely do that. You usually keep yourself so close off from your relationships, but it's no wonder why that don't work out. So maybe flipping the script and not being a fast will change it. Uh, thanks, I think. You know I didn't mean nothing by that, right? Yeah, sure you didn't. <laughs> Honestly, if both of us don't get our lives together, I don't... What is that? Look, she's missing. Meredith? Her name is Meredith. Look, she's been missing for three weeks now. No, no, look, she's our age. You know, that that could be us. Thanks, Kara. Like, I really needed to hear that. But this is sad. I hope they find her. Hopefully they will, but come on, don't let this flyer get you down. You have a great guy that's dying for you to meet his mother tonight. Come on, let's get you ready so you can meet your future mother-in-law. I guess, but first let me put this back up. There. Now hopefully someone who knows something will speak up. Come on, let's try to get happy again. <laughs> no, we did not. No, not. <laughs> All right, let's get this table cleared off and then Chantel, you can tell me more about your book idea. Yes. <laughs> Honey, can you be a good boy and help mom clear off the table? <laughs> Help with anything? No, you're my guest, and as such, you get to sit back and relax. Now, how about some after dinner tea? No, thank you. I'm actually quite full. Oh. You know, in some cultures, it's seen as disrespectful to refuse something your host offers you. <laughs> now, you wouldn't want me to see you as rude, now would you? Um, no, I, I know. Great. Now, what flavor tea would you like? I'll have what you're having. <laughs> Good choice. Well, you said we get seated in the den. Yeah, let's. Hey, Alan, so when you got up and left, your mom was acting weird, like as if she doesn't like you. What do you mean? Well, she has asked if I wanted some after dinner tea, and I said no because I was full. And she made it seem as if I was being rude, but I wasn't trying to be rude. Don't worry about it. She just loves to take care of her guests. Don't take it personal. She just wants to make you feel comfortable. Okay. So, Chantel, tell me more about your book. Well, I don't really have a concentrated idea. I was um, thinking something along the mystery genre. Oh, why mystery? Well, mystery is always... It's always uh, what? Mystery is always... Where's, Where's Greg, Greg and his mom? mom? The, last the last thing I remember, I remember is we were talking about my book while drinking his mom's disgusting tea. tea. Oh, oh my god, god. What, what the fuck, fuck is this? Who is, is that? that? What, what happened, happened to her? I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but I've seen her somewhere before. Is this, is this some sort of prank? She's, she's awake. awake. Holy she, shit, she, she looks terrified. terrified. And she, she also looks like... Yeah? Holy shit, it is you! You're, you're, you're the girl from the fly, you're missing. But if you're missing and I'm with you, then that means you're missing too. You've been abducted. What? What are you talking about? I was just with the Just be quiet, are you crazy? What's they get when they were in They? Who's they? Let me guess. 
You've been dating Greg for a few weeks now, and he randomly invites you to come over and have dinner with his mom. You probably thought to yourself that that's probably too early to be having dinner with someone's parents, but you didn't think much of it, and for whatever reason, you went anyway. So you guys are eating and having a good time, and then she gives you her after-dinner tea. How the fuck did you know? Because I was you a few weeks ago. Welcome to the after-dinner entertainment. Getting tortured to death. What? What do you mean? Don't you get it? All that bullshit was just that. Bullshit. The past few weeks with you and Greg have been bullshit. Him and his mother kidnap his girlfriend so that they can torture them and murder them. Every week it's another one. Now it's you, before you it was me, before me it was Aubrey, before Aubrey it was Stacy, and so forth. It's a never-ending cycle of murders. It's like a modern-day Bates Motel. Only you just want yourself a lifetime stay. And that won't last long. What the fuck? Do you think this is funny? Do you think this is some goddamn joke? I wish it was, but I'm serious. Sweetheart, we're gonna die here. Unless we find some way to escape. But after what happened to Aubrey... What? What happened to Aubrey? She almost made it. Almost. Almost made it where? Tell me what happened. Once I had woken up and realized what was going on, Aubrey let me know that she was planning to escape. I tried to talk her out of it, but she was desperate. After she found out what happened to the girl before her, she was losing her mind. She made me promise that when they came to get her, I'd pretend to go to the bathroom so they'd be separated. I did as I was told, but not until making her promise to come back for me. Once I was in the bathroom, I heard all this screaming and shouting and, and what sounded like a struggle on the front door slam. I was able to see what was happening outside through the bathroom window. Aubrey almost made it. Turns out, the neighbor's three houses down had a domestic dispute and somebody had called the cops, so the cops were right there. She was able to make it out the front door and do whatever she could to be seen by the cops, but Greg's mother was right at her heels. She tackled her before she could even be seen by the cops. Then she grabbed a rock from the floor and knocked her out and took her inside, and a few hours later, and the coast was more clear. She gagged her and tortured her for the rest of the night. I was beat by Greg for my part in it, but they said they finished me up later. That night, I went to sleep to the sound of Aubrey's muffled screams. She was six feet under by the time that I woke up that morning. Oh my god, those monsters! And Aubrey, how could they do such a thing? I know, this place is hell on earth. And the worst part is, it's going to continue to happen to countless girls. Who knows how many girls they've already done it to? Meredith, look. I know what happened to Aubrey was traumatizing, but we still have to fight. Even if it's a losing battle, I'd rather die fighting than to sit around here having a tea party until death arrives. You're right. We have to do something. But what? And how? Honestly, I don't know. But by any means necessary, we must survive this. Good morning, lovelies! You know what they say? The early bird gets the word. Hi there, sweetheart. I hope you weren't selling any false stories of hope to our new guest. Fuck you! Oh! I like that. It looks like you're all ready for this morning's festivities. Keep that energy up. You'll need it. Hey! Why are you doing this? This is sick and evil. What did I... What did any of us do to you? Greg, please. I thought I was a good girlfriend. We were having so much fun. How could you do this, Greg? How? Ugh. Gregory, be a good boy and gag this one up extra. I don't want to listen to her goddamn screaming and begging all morning. Yes, Mother. But first, help me get this smart ass into the entertainment area. This morning's going to be very entertaining. <laughs> Wait, stop! Greg, stop! Don't! It was all 
your <laughs> Oh, Aubrey is gonna help me make the most beautiful garden. And soon so will you. Fuck you! <laughs> Why do you think I starve you all? Do you think I want you to have the energy to escape? That's why Aubrey didn't make it that far. <laughs> she didn't make it past my garden, no. <laughs> oh, what would I give to be young again? <laughs> so full of hope and determination. <laughs> Those two features won't help you here. <laughs> with all of you young whores. <laughs> You're always asking why, why? Fine, I'll tell you why. Why my son and I decide to give you bitches what you deserve. I was married to Gregory's father for 10 years. 10 fucking years. <laughs> Saying he's run off with the babysitter. The fucking babysitter. She was barely 18 years old, and he leaves his wife of 10 years, his two year old son, his job, his house, everything for some bitch who was barely smart enough to graduate from high school. That shit hurt. <laughs> so from then on, I vowed that when Gregory got old enough, I would groom him to be just like his father. He would date girls just like her. And if they looked like her, even better! <laughs> I made him understand that to get back at his father and that bitch, we would have to cleanse the world of her kind. So to my surprise, he adapted well. And he never disappointed his mother. I was so proud of my boy. My good boy. Turns out he was nothing like his father. So now you know. Now you know why you have to be eliminated. We are going to keep doing this until we die. But if every girl is as pathetic as you and as Aubrey, we're gonna be here for a very, very long time. <laughs> find a way out of here. I hope it's not too late to save her. To save us. Oh no, what are they doing to her? I have to do something fast. Greg! I have to use the bathroom, please! Greg! Greg, I have to use the bathroom. You scream too much, you know that? Uh, I have to use the bathroom. I don't think that's a good idea. The last time I did that, a girl almost escaped. Please, Greg, I really have to. I won't try anything. And why should I believe you? Because I'm... I was your girlfriend. Are you stupid? Haven't you figured it out already? You were just a pawn. But, but I know you, Greg. You're not like this. You don't have to do this. Why are you doing this? Just shut up! I don't want to do this. I have to. What? Why? Because my mother taught me this has to be done. I have no choice. Because he did it to us. Why? Who did what? My father! He left my mother and I, his family, for some young girl. That's why we have to do this, to get back at him. What? That makes no sense. How is killing innocent girls something you have to Just do? shut up! You don't understand. And you better not try anything. Oh.
this. You can't blame me. Wake up, Bob. 